I'm getting mad now. Ho, ho! Pretty soon I'm, I'm going to be down to my last ho. Thank you. I feel better now. Okay. Hello, hello. next caller. You're on the air. Yeah, Wally? Yes. Um, um. hi, Wally. I, I remember one special Christmas Eve. Well, thank you. I, I, I hope you have another oh, Christmas Eve. My son. Eve. Thanks so much for calling, and a very Merry Christmas to you. Let's clear the lines of all the idiots! I'll be right back. Next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. I have a question for you regarding the recent rash of earthquakes we've been having here in California. Yeah? Do you think that your impotent... Uh, yeah, oh, brother, I'll tell you. Well, you see, when you get nitwits on, on the program, it's just, hey, get off, get off. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love came to me. Eight. Wait a minute, I know it, wait a minute. Eight. Eight's a milking. Eight maids a milking. Six, get silly. Get off. Five, get off. Golden get off. Eight. If you don't learn this, it's eight maids a milking, you bimbo. If you don't know the words, don't sing it. Who keeps, how does she keep getting through? We have people who've been trying to get through for two years on this show, and this bimbo gets through and doesn't even know the words to that stupid song, which happens to be one of my least favorite Christmas songs. Now, don't let that idiot through again. I don't know how she gets through. Something tells me, something tells me that Gia is up to this. Something tells me Gia Gia is up to some shenanigans. I feel it in my bones. Or maybe that's just arthritis. I don't know. Let's, let's, go, to the next, let's go to the next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Yes. Uh, is this Wally George? Yeah, who's this? Uh, that's Gary from Pomona. Yes, Gary, what's on your mind today? Yeah, well, I'm a police officer. Uh, yeah. Grab that, grab that pervert. He tried to get filthy on the air. Right, fuck Janet. Get off! We don't have perverts on this show. Don't you know it's Christmas time? I hope your Christmas tree burns to the ground. Ho, ho. You born this ugly? Uh, <laughs> isn't, isn't jealousy awful? Isn't jealousy something awful? Well, I'll let the poor guy get away with that. Hey, from Santa Ana. Yes, Brennan. Yes, I have a question on AIDS, and I wanted to get a victim's perspective. Oh, <laughs> you are, you are so ridiculous. You, you know, I'm not even going to dignify that by getting angry because you are obviously badly brain damaged yourself. And so I will just feel sorry for you as they lead you away and tie you down to your cot. Okay, let's go to our next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, I'd like to speak to Wally George. What about? Hi, I'd like to speak to Wally George. About what? He thinks that uh, Reagan's new book will cover his uh, impotence. Yes, okay. Uh, I'll tell Wally that you called. <laughs> In the meanwhile, crawl back into your cage and close the door. This caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally. Yes. This is Chuck Trout from Santa Ana. Hello, Chuck. Yes, I'm a currently Los Angeles Police Department cadet. Okay. And I'm calling in regards to your impotence. You uh, get off, get off. <laughs> Boy. Speaking of that, I have a feeling you are the one who has the problem. Check it out. Caller, hello, you're on the air. Hi, Wally, I want... Grab that, grab that pervert, grab him fast, and drag him over here so I can punch him out. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. This is Ernie from Utah. Thanks for calling, Ernie. I, 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 I didn't know that our show uh, was carried all the way in Utah, but thanks for calling, and happy new... <laughs> really, well, there's another one. Mark that, Jeff, there's, there's another... Uh, Stupid edit because of these idiots. Hello, next caller, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. Yeah, this is Ted from Huntington Beach. And uh -huh. I'm calling about your impotence. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, small things amuse small minds. And if your mind got any smaller, it would roll out of your ear. Next caller, you're on the air. Is this Wally? Yeah, who's this? This is Ivy Larson from Anaheim. Who? Ivy Larson. Izzy? Yes, that's my name. Izzy. Yes, I love you. Wait, wait. I should have known with a name like Izzy. Izzy, sweetheart, it's time that you go and put on your nail polish. Next caller, you're on the air. Speaking of small things, I think you, you also have another problem. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello? Who's this? Yeah, um, this is Rich. How old are you, Rich? Um, 15. What are you calling Wally about? I want to um, ask him if his people on Hot Seat are real. 
Okay, I'll ask him. <laughs> are, Wally, are the people on hot seat for real? Yes, they certainly are. They are real people. They are not animated. I want you. Well, you have, I'm sorry, I'm taken. But no, they are real. Real, live, human beings. Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Well, some of them aren't too human, but they're, at least they're alive. Next caller, you're on the air, I think. <laughs> Next caller, hello, you're on the air. Hello, Wally? Yes. Yes. I want your opinion on what I really believe is a serious threat to the spread of AIDS, mainly your mouth. Oh, yeah. Grab that. Grab that fast. We have a pervert on the phone who's trying to get filthy on Wally's All-American Show, and I won't stand for that kind of nonsense. George, go ahead. Hello, Wally? Yes. Yeah, it's all about that suicidal gang, Mota Loco, Soy Sniper, S.A. Get him off the air, you stupid idiot. Hello, nice caller. You're on the air. Hi, Wally. This is Marcel from Huntington Beach. Yes, Marcel. And I just wanted to make a comment about um, um, Je uh, Jessica Hahn. Now, she, uh, the reason this lady annoys me so much is because she's famous, and she's only famous for one reason, and that's because she slept with Rebecca DeMarnie. Oh, get off. Don't, don't start. Don't start. What is happening? You, a bunch of perverts back on the line again. Don't, when are you going to want to understand that this program is not for you idiot, demented perverts to come on and waste our valuable time with a bunch of insanity? Now get off my phone and don't bother me. Let's call her, you're on the air. Hi, this is Phil I. Novak. Yes. And, um, oh, Wally, is that toupee? I'll tell you, what time is it now? Okay, the, the first... Three calls on this half-hour program are made by insane idiots who should be locked up in a padded cell. This really bugs me. Now, let me have somebody sane. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, Wally? Yes. I'd like to make a comment about your commentary about the crash. Yes. Yeah, I, I have to completely agree with you that I do think Janice is African. Oh. I'm telling you, you people are really getting under my skin. Now listen, do you think I come down and sit here to, to talk to a bunch of nitwits? I come down here to conduct an intelligent show. Now for God's sake, somebody call in with some intelligence or I'm going to sit here and do nothing but talk myself for the rest of the half hour. I can do that, you know, I got plenty of material. Now let me get a decent caller. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, Wally. Yes. Yeah, listen, this is Bill. Yes, Bill, what's on your mind? I'm, listen, I'm, I'm cool, okay? Yeah, well, you better be cool. I'm going to oh. bomb you out of here I into have orbit. A question. What's your question? I have a question. About what is it? About your commentary. What is it? About the plane. Yes. That was shot down. Yes. How the hell See, I knew it. I knew it. The whole damn switchboard is filled with idiots. And you know, and there are decent people trying to get through with decent calls. That's what bugs me. Let's call you. are on the air. Hello. Hello, Wally? Yes. Yes, I'd like to make a comment about your commentary, please. No, you're not. You're off. You're off. I Next caller. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Should we try again? Hello? Next caller. Uh, uh, yeah, hi. Uh, Wally, uh, the, uh, the other night when you had that argument with that guy on TV and told him that you, you would throw him. What other guy? Uh, the old man. And he came over. What, what old man? Uh, it was on the hot seat when you told him you'd throw him off the air and he came and he turned the desk over on you. Yes. Uh, well, how come, you, how come you got so scared of the guy after he did that? Are you a sissy or what? No. Hey, hey. If you think I'm a sissy, uh, you little idiot, spineless wimp, come over here and meet me out in the parking lot. Have you got the guts? Have you? Of course not. You're a stinking coward who's brave on a telephone, like so many of you spineless wimps. You're so brave. You come and face me face to face, and you would faint in a quivering mass of jelly.